Imagine being the child of a demon living the life of a hybrid. Imagine having a troubled life because of it. Imagine your response to such trouble is to end up owning a collection of deadly weaponry at your disposal. Well, no need to imagine these situations. Dante and Hellboy are doing it for you. That's right, it's part two of the back-to-back -back Dante celebration. Part one had Dante going up against Kratos, and now he faces the likes of Hellboy. Both of these characters are going to hell, but who's going to come back alive? Today, we find that out. Today, we rewind Rumble. As described in the intro, this is part 2 of the back-to-back -back Dante celebration. If you wish to learn about Dante specifically, make sure to watch part 1, Dante vs Kratos. This pre-analysis will focus specifically on Hellboy, but before we begin, let it be clear that there are many incarnations of Hellboy, from the movies, video games, and even the comics themselves have multiple incarnations, each with tweaked origin stories and power levels. For this episode, I'm going to mainly focus on the Dark Horse Comics edition of Hellboy. Even still, Hellboy kinda has two origins, his first encounter with human society and his creation. Hellboy was summoned from hell to earth as a baby on October 5th by Nazi occultists. He would have certainly changed the tides of who would have won World War II, but summoning some random demon isn't the same as raising a demon infant. You see, while the Nazis did summon him, it was the Allied forces who discovered him and they took him into their wing, specifically Specifically, Professor Trevor Brutenholm. Trevor founded and enlisted Hellboy into the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense, or BPRD for short. The BPRD is like if the Ghostbusters met the Punisher and had a love child. Speaking of babies, let's talk about Hellboy's biological origin. The guy is like mathematically over 400 years old, as he was born around the 16th century in the year 1574. His birth name was Anungun Rama, and Anungun Rama means upon his brow is set a crown of flame. His mother Sarah was a witch who actually tried to repent her sins. Now, why would a witch want to change her ways? Did she finally realize holy from unholy, or was there a more selfish reason? Well, to make a long story short, she didn't want her demon husband, Azale, to claim her and create you-know-who. But of course we know how that encounter ends, since Hellboy does exist. But how did Hellboy get that rock-hard right hand? It's not from a certain hobby that you might think it's from. He got that hand because his demon dad chopped off his real hand at birth and replaced it with the right hand of doom. Little did Azale know, this would eventually bite him in the rear because Hellboy now fights for good, not evil. Thanks to the guidance of Trevor, of course. So that is the quick origin of Hellboy, but what can this demon hybrid actually do? Well, for starters, he has superhuman-like strength and durability as he can easily punch through stone walls, lift trees, and lift monsters the size of elephants. He can survive gunshot wounds and stabbings that would easily kill a normal human. Hellboy has a more edgy version of Batman's utility belt. Instead of bat-themed toys, Hellboy's belt is equipped with straight-up slaughterhouse weapons, such as swords, spears, his guns, his large pistol, Excalibur, and various demon artifacts. Now, Hellboy can't turn Super Saiyan, but under special circumstances, either artificially or when under emotional distress, Hellboy can transform into an amplified demon form. In this form, Hellboy's shaven stumps regrow and become fully grown horns. After coming to terms with his heritage, Hellboy seems to gain the ability to transform at will, while also sprouting wings. In this form, Hellboy becomes much stronger and gains access access to latent magic. He gets a complete stat boost in strength, speed, durability, and healing. As for weaknesses, well, there's a reason why Hellboy is called Hellboy and not Hellman. While he has the body of an adult, he has the mind of a meddling, rebellious teenager. This can get him into dangerous trouble from time to time, as he lacks the maturity to handle high-pressure situations. This results into irrational decision-making. Overall, Hellboy is a living oxymoron. He is a force for good, with an iron will and a desire to do the right thing. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin!
आज तभी रहता है Whatever you got, I've seen worse. Ready? Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Discovery Games BR. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis. After losing to a god slayer in Kratos, Dante finally nabs himself a win on Rewind Rumble, defeating the demon hybrid Hellboy. Now I hate to say this, but this fight is a bit of a stomp. Hellboy does not have stats to even come close to Dante's best feats. Hellboy has peak human travel speed, Mach 2 reaction speed as he can scale to his father who can dodge bullets, but Dante can blitz this with his massively hypersonic plus speed feats, being able to dodge and react to lightning as he was able to block lightning based attacks from Navan. This makes Dante at slowest 8,000 times faster than Hellboy. As for durability, while Hellboy is far more durable than normal humans, he still can get very damaged and isn't omnipotent. Dante also isn't omnipotent by any means, but his regeneration and healing factor is far more impressive than Hellboy's. For example, Hellboy might need a few days to heal from bullet wounds that would kill a normal human, but Dante only needs a few hours to heal from bullet wounds that might kill a normal human. And while both have powered up transformations, Dante's Devil Trigger is far more impressive than Hellboy's full demon form. Dante's Devil Trigger can easily counter Hellboy's demon form via speed blitz and don't even get me started on Dante's Dreadnought form. Dante already has a stomp worthy durability edge, but the Dreadnought armor just takes it into a whole new level of unfair. When you're at least 8,000 times faster than your opponent, have a much better healing factor than your opponent, have similar fighting styles and attitudes as your opponent, well, Dante vs. Hellboy ends up becoming a game of whatever you can do, I can do better. And that line fits Dante vs. Hellboy perfectly, making the winner of this rumble, Dante. On the next episode of Rewind Rumble.